So in this video, I'm going to try to translate to what Amlo said after he was, you know, asked a difficult question that, are you scared of what's happening? Because you're affecting a lot of business for powerful individuals. Good question. I want to bring that to our attention. Are you scared for your life? I ask you because in this war against the corruption, you are affecting a lot of interest, especially in narco traffic. If you fight for justice, you have nothing to fear for. That's what I can answer. And I'm a human being. I am scared. Like all, like any human being. But I am not. I am not a coward. Um, we're gonna go through the events of what happened of the life-threatening, you know, of Amlo. Let's check it out. So narco, narco banners message to Amlo: Remove forces or innocent people will die. A gang of field thieves is believed to be responsible for threatening violence if federal security forces of remain in the state of Guanajuato. A narco banner appeared in Salamanca this morning, warning President Olopez Obrador to remove security forces from the state or innocent people will die. The narco, the narco manta was found hanging from a bridge a few kilometers from the Antonio M. Armour refiner, ref, Amor refinery and was allegedly signed by Jose Antonio El Marro Yepes, the suspected leader of the gang of field thieves known as the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel. Andres Manuel Lopez Odor, I demand you remove the Navy, Army, and Federal forces from the state. If not, I'm going to start killing innocent people so that you see that this is not a game and that in Guanajuato we don't need them, the banner reportedly read. I've left you a little gift in the refinery so that you see how things are going to get if you don't release my people who have been taken. Face up to the consequences. Yours sincerely, El Señor Marro. Shortly after the narco banner was located, a pickup truck was found near the Salamanca refinery inside, which was, which was an object thought to be an explosive device. Federal police and the army of cordoned off the area, but presidential spokesman of Jesus but sorry, presidential spokesman Jesus Ramirez Cuevas said later this morning that there was no explosive in the abandoned truck. He was acknowledged that the narco banner was directed at the president, adding that it's a banner directed at he who is carrying out the fight against fuel theft. Of course, that's, that's, come on, bro. Ramirez said the attorney general's office has opened an investigation to determine who is responsible for both the banner and the pickup. It's a matter of that it has to do with the anti-fuel theft operations. And also the dispute that there is between different cartels, he said. The federal government has deployed the military and federal police to protect petroleum infrastructure as part of the strategy to combat field theft, a crime that cost the state oil company billions of pesos a year. Two days ago, residents of Via Gran, a municipality just east of Salamanca, reported to an anti-field theft operation by setting up fiery blockades to repel security forces. Authorities believe that Yepe Santa Rosa de Lima cartel was behind the hostile response. Guanajuato has one of the highest incidences of fuel theft in Mexico, and last year was the country's most violent state with 3,290 homicides. All right, so let's get let's get down to this guy right here, the one that threatened Amlo. All right, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of something about this guy. Security forces gathering intelligence on gang leader who threatened Amlo. All right, whatever. It's not a gang. It's a cartel. Federal security forces may be closing in on the suspected ringleader of a gang of fuel thieves in Guanajuato who is believed to be behind a threat directed at President Lopez Obrador. Jose Antonio Yepes Ortiz, believed to be the leader of the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel, has evaded capture during the last two and a half years. Helped in no small part by high, uh, highway blockades made of burning vehicles such as those seen in the municipality of Villagran earlier this week. However, intelligence reports seen by newspaper Milenio reveal that federal authorities have a lot of information about the criminal leader known as El Marro that could be that could make it difficult for him to remain free. So they're on to him. According to reports, authorities have identified five ranches frequently uh, fre frequented by Yepes, his closest criminal associates, and the locations of his gang targets to extract fuel from Pemex pipelines. Four people have been identified as members or past members of the ringleader's inner circle. They are Yepes' uncle Efraín Labrada Reyes, sorry, Labrada Reyes, a financial operator for the cartel, another uncle Raimundo Labrada Reyes, 
who was involved in money laundering until he was killed in, two, in December 2016, El Marro's sister, Karen Elizabeth Yepes, and her husband, Santiago Gonzalez Martinez, both of whom work for the cartel in Celaya. The, the intelligence reports also reveal the names of several men with links to Yepes and the cartel he heads, including though some who have already been arrested. The Santa Rosa de Lima cartel, which, in, which since 2017 has been engaged in a bitter turf war with the Jalisco New Generation cartel, has a strong presence in the region of Guanajuato, known colloquially as the Bermuda Triangle, made up of the municipalities of Apaseo el Alto, Apaseo el Grande, Salamanca, Irapuato, and Celaya. The region has a high in in incidence of both violence and fuel theft. Both tanker trucks transporting gasoline and petroleum pipelines are frequently targeted. The Yepes led criminal group's presence also extends into the municipalities of Villa Gran, considered the cartel's operational center, as well as Cortazar, Santa Cruz de Ju Juventino Rosas, Valle de Santiago, and its namesake, Santa Rosa de Lima. Pemex pipelines running between the refinery in Salamanca and the cities of Guanajuato, Zacatecas, León, Morelia, and Tula have all been tapped by El Marro's cartel, the intelligence reports reveal. Residents of towns in, in, in the municipalities where the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel operates have set up highway blockades and shot at vehicles during operations carried out by the Army and Navy aimed at arresting Yepes. So they've been, so they've been fighting the government for quite some time now. They've been really fighting him, but throughout this whole battle, they've been gathering intelligence on him. And they're still gathering more and more intelligence on him. And yeah, I believe they are close to beating this guy already. The criminal leader is believed to be responsible for a narco banner that appeared in Salamanca early yesterday morning warning Lopez Obrador to remove security forces from the state or innocent people will die, which we've all seen the banner, right? After advising that a little gift had been left at the Salamanca refinery, which turned out to be an explosive device inside an abandoned vehicle, which was a truck in the video that we, that, um, I don't know if you guys seen it, but I'll, I'll come out with a video later on. The banner concluded with, yours sincerely, El Señor Maro. Are they playing? Okay, you know what, let me just give you, um, a crazy idea or a crazy suggestion of what's going on the shadow government is using the cartel of this guy to they're exposing senor model this guy right here the cartel leader to go after AMLO yeah it's a big threat to AMLO because yeah they could kill AMLO I mean you think his life is not running risk by the shadow government by shadow government I'm talking about Peña Nieto uh, Carlos Salinas de Gortari Calderon and Fox and many others politicians what's crazy is that they gathered in uh, Spain while the Spain's president was here I think that's what I've read yes yeah and, and what were they doing all together what are they planning I think they're planning to kill the president of Mexico it's hard to say like that but I think look at this guy man if they threatened him of his life or if he has family which his brother i mean his sisters or whatever what not this guy will move strings to try to kill amlo so that's why amlo i think i think i read also that amlo reinforced his uh reinforced his his security but they're gonna be discreet but i don't think it's gonna work out they gotta really really defend him like a shell because you're talking about a cartel they're really if you're if you're hitting them hard and the, and the shadow government is, is behind them they're the ones that operate the strings, and they're the ones. They're the ones that are gonna want to make this guy kill Amlo, right? I mean, it's logical. I just hope it doesn't happen, cause fuck, man. I just, I just hope it doesn't happen. All right, guys, catch you later. If you fight for justice, you have nothing to fear for. If you fight for justice, you have nothing to fear for.